Tip number one is focus on the bride and the groom. You know, because uh, I've, I've watched a lot of highlight videos on YouTube where um, the, the videographers, when they, when they make the edit, they don't usually focus on the bride and groom. They, they focus more on their friends and stuff like that, you know. Like, m more, put more cameos of the bride and groom because they're the ones, they paid you for this. So you need to make sure you put a lot of them in the video. So that was tip number one. Um, tip number two make almost every edit different like when you are um, editing a highlights video you don't want to do the same edit over and over like you know the same pattern of editing where you first um you know you're shooting at the bride's house and then you're shooting at the grooms and then you're at the ceremony like switch it up tell the bride and groom like i'm you know i'm versatile and i'm because when they say oh i want you to edit a video like this if all your videos are just the same throughout all your edits and patterns are the same throughout they're not going to think you could be creative and do what they want you to do so make sure like you know you kind of switch it up on your edits you know just switch up the patterns on how you edit you know you can start you can start the ceremony for this for, for this wedding you can start the ceremony you know uh let the the the, the, the official talk and stuff like that and then switch it up take it back to the brides getting ready take it back to this like just switch up the shots and just do different stuff uh, you can keep the format the same but just kind of like switch it up so that way you can look more creative you know so that's tip number two tip number three is dialogue is the key to success in a highlight video so what i mean what i mean is by that is if you shoot a wedding video with no dialogue and you just edit it with just like you know a cinematic kind of song or um uh, instrumental stuff like that it's gonna look good but if you add dialogue in it it adds more emotion you know maybe the bride is reading the vows and she's crying makes people want to cry you know just just hearing her voice like crack and she's crying like it makes people want to cry just like you know uh, maybe maybe one of the bridesmaids or the toast they're talking about how they met and just a funny story it will make people laugh if people laughed at the uh, at, in the reception maybe there's, they're gonna laugh when they watch your video so dialogue is key to success in a in, in a wedding videography or in a trailer uh, in in a trailer video you don't you don't necessarily need to have dialogue as much but in a highlight video you need some dialogue in it so, so I went to a good friend and I asked like what the you know the best thing would be to calm my nerves so uh, she's never been a best man before She's also my wife, so I asked her what the best thing to do would be, and she said, well, just imagine everybody naked, you know? <laughs> so with that being said, Corey, you look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so dialogue is key to success. That was tip number three. So tip number four is uh, what type of music to use? So the music that you use in a highlight video matters a lot too you know if the bride let's say the bride like always ask the bride and groom what they want like let her like what i do with my uh videos is i tell i, I give them two songs I, I tell them to uh choose two songs any songs doesn't matter if it's copywritten i don't care i just because when i edit this stuff i'm just going to give it to them and they could do whatever they want to do with it it's out of my hands now so if they i'm not going to um upload copywritten music on my on my uh, channel but if I do you know I make sure like the person gets the credit and stuff like that but I let them choose whatever song they want uh, you know most couples have a song which both of them like you know stuff like that so let them choose the songs that, that they want for their highlight video and um, let's say you wanna you wanna like do your own songs you can also do that you could you know put your own cinematic kind of music and put it on your or put it on your YouTube channel for promotion and stuff like that but the bride and groom give them the songs that they want um, okay so number tip number five the last tip is slow down the emotional moments so what I mean by slow down the emotional moments is um, stuff like you know when they're dancing and when they're kissing and cake cutting uh, father mother uh, <laughs> father mother 
father daughter dance you know stuff like that when you slow the clips down it just it just adds that emotion to it than if it's just fast or if it's a regular speed you know when you slow it down to like you know 50 percent slower it just adds that punch you know so just slow down the, the the emotional moments of the of the whole highlight and stuff like that <laughs> so yeah so th those are the five tips so tip number one was focus on the bride and groom tip number two was make almost every edit different tip number three was dialogue is the key to success tip number four was uh, what type of music to use and tip number five was slow down the emotional moment so these are the tips on like how to edit uh, a highlight video I mean you can edit you can edit the video however you want but these are my tips that you can kind of add to your style when you know switch it up and do stuff like that so thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel wedding videography tips and this is francis see you in the next video